May the peace of the Lord be with you all, as we bring to you the readings of today's Holy Mass. Let us now listen to the Word of God. March 7, 2024, Thursday of the Third Week of Lent A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah Thus says the Lord, but on this matter I did instruct them, saying, Listen to my voice, and I will be your God, and you will be my people. And walk in the entire way that I have commanded you, so that it may be well with you. But they did not listen, nor did they incline their ear. Instead, they walked by their own will and in the depravity of their own wicked heart. And so they went backward and not forward from the day when their fathers went forth from the land of Egypt even to this day. And I have sent all my servants, the prophets, to you throughout the day, rising at first light and sending them. But they have not listened to me, nor have they inclined their ear. Instead, they have stiffened their neck, and they have behaved worse than their fathers did. And so you will speak to them all these words, but they will not listen to you. And you will call to them, but they will not respond to you. And you will say to them, This is the nation that has not listened to the voice of the Lord their God, nor accepted discipline. Faith has perished and been taken away from their mouth. The Word of the Lord Responsorial Psalm The response is, If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come let us praise the Lord with joy, let us joyfully sing to God our Saviour. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and make a joyful noise to him with psalms. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come let us adore and fall down, and weep before the Lord that made us. For he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Today if you shall hear his voice, harden not your hearts. As in the provocation, according to the day of temptation in the wilderness, where your fathers tempted me, they proved me, and saw my works. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus was casting out a demon, and the man was mute. But when he had cast out the demon, the mute man spoke, and so the crowds were amazed. But some of them said, It is by Beelzebub, the leader of demons, that he casts out demons. And others, testing him, required a sign from heaven of him. But when he perceived their thoughts, he said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself will become desolate, and house will fall upon house. So then, if Satan is also divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? For you say that it is by Beelzebub that I cast out demons. But if I cast out demons by Beelzebub, by whom do your own sons cast them out? Therefore, they shall be your judges. Moreover, if it is by the finger of God that I cast out demons, then certainly the kingdom of God has overtaken you. When a strong-armed man guards his entrance, the things that he possesses are at peace. But if a stronger one, overwhelming him, has defeated him, he will take away all his weapons, in which he trusted, and he will distribute his spoils. Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. The Gospel of the Lord Reflection How do we respond when faced with evidence of divine power and truth, and are we open to embracing it, or do we resist out of stubbornness or fear?
But if it is by the finger of God that I drive out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. Luke 11 verse 20 The kingdom of God can come upon us in a variety of ways. The line from today's gospel above comes in the middle of a story of Jesus casting out a demon from a man who was mute. Once the demon was cast out, the mute man began to speak, and all were amazed. And though some were amazed and grew in faith as a result, others turned their amazement into irrationality. The irrationality of some was that they saw what Jesus did, but they didn't want to accept that his power was divine. Therefore, some of them said, by the power of Beelzebul, the prince of demons, he drives out demons. They couldn't deny that Jesus drove out a demon, since they saw it happen with their own eyes. But they were unwilling to accept Jesus' divinity, so they jumped to the irrational conclusion that Jesus' act was done by the power of the prince of demons. This irrational stance of some people is one of the most dangerous stances one can take. It's the stance of an obstinate heart. They were given the incredible witness of the power of God at work, but refused to respond in faith to what they witnessed. For those who are obstinate, when the kingdom of God comes upon them as Jesus stated above, the effect is that they react in a violent, angry and irrational way. This form of reaction is exceptionally prevalent today in the secular world. Many in the secular media, for example, constantly react violently and irrationally to all that is part of the kingdom of God. As a result the evil one easily misleads many causing confusion and chaos. For those who have eyes to see clearly, this violent and irrational rejection of the kingdom of God is very clear. And for those with faith and an open heart, the pure message of the gospel is like water to a dry and parched soul. They soak it up and find great refreshment. For them, when the kingdom of God comes upon them, they are energized, inspired, and driven with a holy passion to further God's kingdom. Irrationality disappears, and God's pure truth prevails. Reflect today upon your heart. Are you obstinate in any way? Are there teachings from Christ and his church that you are tempted to reject? Is there some truth that you need to hear in your personal life, to which you find it difficult to be open? Pray that the kingdom of God come upon you today and every day, and as it does, that you will be a powerful instrument of its establishment in this world. Let us pray. My glorious King of all, you are all-powerful and have full authority over all things. Please come and exercise your authority upon my life. Come and establish your kingdom. I pray that my heart be always open to you and to the direction you give. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. Thank you for listening to the readings and reflection of today's Mass. Please like, subscribe, and share with your family and friends. Again, thank you, and may God bless us all.